Okay, uh, good morning everyone. Uh, my name is Rama Daswara. Uh, today I would like to present our research with title Solar Powered NRF 24L01 based uh, smart drip irrigation system using fuzzy associational mining for water usage efficiency which is collaboration between University of Mataram, Solar University and Telkom University. Okay, so first part in introduction. Uh, background of our research is uh, availability of control environment, especially water irrigation, is needs uh, for plant uh, cultivations on dry land. Each plant has different uh, water requirement, uh, water use efficiency, also focus on development of plant cultivation in terms of climate change. Okay, so our research uh, consists of this study. Uh, I'm to develop a solar power intelligent drip uh, irrigation system divided into five uh, nodes with uh, NRF 24L01 network uh, and to get with fuzzy roll based regression FRBR uh, algorithm for regressions uh, of the evaporations uh, red uh, soil and water use. The five nodes consist of monitoring soil temperature and humidity, main irrigation pump, drip irrigation pump, uh, main solar monitoring, and monitoring of air temperature and humidity, like intensity and GSM module for uploading data to the internet. Okay. Uh, and the, the documentation based on NRF 24L01 uh, allows the system to run wirelessly without depending on Wi-Fi availability and solar power increase system application efficiency in outdoor condition without cable for electricity. So next part is review of the present system. Uh, so this is the uh, or the diagram there. So uh, connection of system, the blue line shows the relations between sensor uh, signal and the electricity that uh, generally occur in the nodes between the uh, microcontroller uh, sensor. Uh, the orange uh, indicate uh, the sensor signal connection between the microcontroller and the relay module controlling the pump. So in the fall, so uh, different uh, power source. The red line shows the electrical connections between microcontroller and or pump uh, to the solar model, model which is contained in node 3. Uh, the green line shows the wireless data communication uh, using uh, NRF 24L01. So this is a communication between the nodes there. Okay, uh, the data communication relationship. So node 1 is main water source, uh, node 2 is soil monitoring, and node 3 is irrigation pump, uh, solar power monitoring. It's node 4 and node 5 is environment monitoring and gas and module which will upload data to the internet. So there's uh, irrigation routines which happen and the solar power is monitored by uh, node 4 there. So uh, this is again structure of uh, rural extractor. Uh, the variable consists of uh, air temperature um, and humidity. Uh, the light intensity, temperature, and soil humidity. Uh, this uh, variable I'll uh, use uh, re to regress uh, water flow and soil humidity uh, duration. So, which is part and differ into uh, two kind of fuzzy membership functions for each variable. So, next part is evaluation and result. So this is a uh, develop IAT nodes with connection. Uh, this is uh, node five, which contain um, GSM module and uh, environmental sensor. Also use uh, NRF just to receive the data to be uploaded to internet. And this is a combination of node one to four, uh, because uh, if we meet <laughs> one by one, it's not enough space in there. But uh, actually, it separates like this, which we can see it is in node five, uh, node two, and node uh, one, and node three, and node four, and there. Okay, uh, evaluation of the QoS, uh, refresh rates, and packet data. Uh, 
the refresh rates and data packets on the system with NRF24L01 data communication. We can see there's uh, five type of data flow like we see in there. Okay. Uh, water flow is liter for minutes, so we need a uh, uh, hike <laughs> refresh rate in there. So uh, maximum capacity of uh, byte size is 32 so we bit byte uh, so we separate into five uh, different data transmissions but no problem because uh, it's just uh, 100 milliseconds per one transmission so it's quick but short uh, kind of packet data communication okay uh, quality of separation on NRF24L01 between nodes uh, based on throughput uh, packet delivery ratio and relay um, showing there uh, five different data transition so it's still have a low de delay uh, just uh, 0 0.073 milliseconds and packet delivery ratio and throughput is a uh, hike in there so uh, there are uh, evaluation of energy availability uh, which evaluation divide into five parts by that uh, clustered uh, by the like intensity and temperature that I will collect for one week using node 4. Yeah, so uh, there's a uh, use uh, generates uh, energy and used energy and not uh, slightly um, um, make uh, the communications uh, lower with there on on the Nike. Okay. Uh, fuzzy inversion functions for high uh, water flow rate. So we separate the data uh, like we can see there to, to different two parts, which uh, per fat is a uh, sorry uh, high water flow rate and low water flow rate uh, which we uh, represent using uh, uh, asymmetric Gaussian which is uh, double uh, left and right uh, standard deviation as means there so we can see uh, depend on the type of data like that like this and this happens it means uh, lower and higher and uh, total water use and um, is, uh, irrigation quantity is not uh, falsified because uh, it uh, should be just calculation okay. so total water use is uh, uh, this liter one one thousand liter. Okay, um, and for low water flow rates like uh, low like and lower uh, humidity, so uh, dryness is um, decreased. So just use at um, thirty six point seven to twenty eight uh, water usage. So. So there's also uh, soil humidity durations in there. How how long uh, the soil keep um, uh, humidified uh, or wet uh, soil from uh, 500 ohm to dry again uh, 100 ohm. Uh, water flow is calculated every minute uh, watering per liter per minute. Okay, so this is a correlation metric between the data with uh, bold green occur indicates a correlation above 0 0.8. Uh, the light green color indicates the correlation above 0 0.5. The yellow occurs uh, color uh, indicates the correlation above 0 0.2. And the red one is uh, below uh, 0 0.2. So we can see the height dependent that in there and have high correlations with uh, soil humidity and soil duration of course in there and total use is also uh, depend on water flow and soil humidity and total water usage yeah
So exactly on evaluations, uh, all role are sort by support up to top 10 with average support of uh, 0 0.272 and confidence of 0 0.9 to values one and two for each variable indicate the fuzzy membership uh, functions namely the high quarter and low uh, like we see in this table so just two kind of uh, fuzzy membership functions for each variable so we can see the um, variable that have a uh, high correlations will also extract a uh, rule with high support and confidence of course so they are very uh, well, so uh, overall uh, we reach the high uh, confidence and high, relatively high support for uh, main uh, variable that have high correlation so regression result of RRBR, uh, smallest error obtained for regression using rule one and two, which there, yes, uh, which uh, horrible with high correlation, of course, and followed by regression in 32, that also depend on correlation of between variable. The high error is obtained uh, with uh, in there uh, by the variable that has low uh, correlation. Okay, conclusions. Uh, we have test so many aspects of the system from the uh, quality of surface, energy availability, and uh, clustered uh, fuzzy database uh, for the data. And we can see the water flow, water use uh, between the high water rate and low water rate. And correlation metrics show that soil moisture and water use duration correlates, of course. And we have uh, average support and show the uh, lowest uh, uh, um, mean square error uh, depend on what we want to regress and what variable that is a precedent. Okay, uh, that's all. Uh, thank you very much.